Good morning, everyone. Ubiquiti recently released their Wi-Fi 6 access points, and I'm currently on their previous generation Wi-Fi 5 models, the UAP AC Pro and the UAP AC HD. And while they're working pretty good, I recently purchased an iPhone that supports Wi-Fi 6, so I thought I'd take advantage of some of the newer Wi-Fi 6 features by purchasing a U6 Pro US model, which is the new Ubiquiti Wi-Fi 6 access point. So in today's video, I'm going to install the U6 Pro US on the network and then compare the speed differences between that and the UAP AC Pro and the UAP AC HD. So by default, the Ubiquiti access points will have a channel width setting optimized for coverage density and less so for maximum throughput from a single access point. So to see the full speeds out of your access point, you may need to adjust these settings in the Unify network. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I'm going to click on my Unify U6 Pro and go under settings. And down here, you'll see the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz radio sections. And we're going to be concerned about the 5 gigahertz channel width, which right now I have set to HE80. And you can go all the way down to HE20, 40, and up to 160. And theoretically, the higher you go, the more channel width you're going to have. So you'll get better throughput speed from a single access point. But in reality, how wide a channel width you can go is a bit of a balance and can cause the opposite effect if there's a lot of Wi-Fi traffic interference in your surrounding area. And when I've messed around with this in previous reviews, I set the equivalent VHT80 value on my other access points, and it's worked out pretty well. Going up to uh, the HE or VHT160 channel width didn't really give me much extra kind of bang for my buck. So I'm going to leave this at HE80. So this is where you can set that on yours. And once you have your channel width set, you can go down to apply changes and click on that. But I already have that set. So that is grayed out for me. So now all you have to do is get iPerf running. So down in here, I have iPerf download to C colon backslash iPerf. So I'll just run iPerf3 with the S flag to run it in server mode. And now the server's listening on 5201. So effectively what this will do is have a speed test server running in my local network so that I don't have to worry about the variances of my ISP or the general internet slowing things down. I know that as long as I have a gigabit connection within my network, this will be a solid test bed to uh, check out these access points. So now let's set things up for the iPhone speed test. So before we get started with the speed test, now's a good time to show you the physical differences between the two access points. So here on my left, I have the UAP AC Pro and on the back, for inputs, it has an RJ45 main input, a USB, and a secondary pass-through RJ45 uh, kind of output port that allows you to link downstream devices. And on the new U6 Pro US, you'll notice that the ports are a little bit different in that we only have the one. So there's no pass-through port, there's no USB. Physically, it's about 10 ounces heavier, but otherwise, dimensionally, they're just about exactly the same size and looks like they should mount on the same mounting ring. So let's start our speed test against the UAP AC Pro and see what kind of speeds we get with iPerf. All right, so let's begin. So we seem to be averaging around 530 megabits per second with some occasional spikes to around 557. So we'll average that out to about 511 megabits or so for the UAP AC Pro. So now let's hook up the U6 Pro US. Now that the U6 Pro US is provisioned, let's restart the speed test. You can see that's significantly better. Averaging at around 800 megabits per second. Pushing north now to, see we maxed out at 838 megabits per second. So it seems to be staying north of 800 when you know you're just inches away from the access point. And just to be thorough, I wanna show you a test that I'm gonna rerun now on the HE160 channel width setting. And what you'll notice is that it's about the same as when I was using HE80. And I suspect that's mostly because the iPhone doesn't have enough antennas to take advantage of that full channel width. So now visually comparing our Unify Access Point speed test numbers on max iPhone download speeds, we can see the U6 Pro is significantly faster with a download throughput speed 52% faster than the AC Pro Access Point. And on the Unify Reddit forum, a user named UMC Cantech made this excellent chart comparing the spread of all the different Unify Access Points uh, as of February, 2022. And here we're looking at the AC Pro as you can see, that one was an AC Wave 1 with AC 1750 as its class. Again, these are all omnidirectional antennas, and the MSRP was 149 at the time. 
And as you can see, that's the same price as the U6 Pro. So if you can find the U6 Pro, I don't really see any reason to get the AC Pro at this point. I think that one is uh, thoroughly deprecated and superseded by the U6 Pro. Uh, again, it's Wi-Fi 5. Again, we're going Nemo 3x3 there, where it is now 4x4, and that gets us a max throughput of 1300 megabits per second versus now the 4,800 megabits per second on the five gigahertz channel. And there is a net increase on the 2.4 gigahertz band as well, going from 450 to 574. So a slight theoretical increase there as well. The AC Pro is a little bit more flexible on power inputs. It could take PoE, PoE plus on 48 volts. Whereas now you are limited to PoE plus at 48 volts because it takes more wattage. This one is now rated at 13 watts of power consumption versus it was at 9 watts before. The Qualcomm chipset was maintained between the two, but that is a difference between the light version and the U6 LR. Those are both MediaTek, if that makes a difference to you. As I mentioned in the earlier part of the video, it's about the same size as before, so it can mount on the same mount ring. So again, if you're using a ceiling mount, this is a straight upgrade. So you don't have to worry about changing your mounts out. It's a very easy upgrade to do. There's a little uh, metal spudger tool that, that comes with the Ubiquiti tool set included in the box with the access point. It looks like a little uh, L. And you just go ahead and stick that little spudger tool in the side of the access point. There's a small little slot and you give that a little bend and then you can twist the access point to the left to free it from its mount. And the new one just reattaches when you just spin it clockwise. So I hope you found this video useful on deciding whether or not it is time to upgrade your Unify Wi-Fi 5 access points to Wi-Fi 6. I certainly did. And if you enjoyed the video, please click on the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more great tech reviews. Thanks for watching.